Previously on Lion Moms. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning a flag down a cat. Claude, I know some people who would die to meet you. Could you do me a favor? I was so stupid. Why did I see it coming? He didn't even speak good English. I believe I was scorned. Me, a lawyer. I know we've been trying to stay out of trouble. But this is something we have to talk about. We need help with our test. We could ask for a bit more. No. There's something else I want from him. It's more important. I agree to your terms. You go to Anson High, and I'll get your father back. Watch and learn. <clears throat> Hi there. How can I help you, miss? Yes, I need a car. Today. Today? Uh, uh, okay. That depends on what car you like. And we'll see we have one in stock. Could you recommend me your safest model? And one that's easy to handle? <laughs> All our cars here are very safe and easy to handle. It really depends on your budget. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> this one is reasonable in price. Easy to handle for first-time drivers. Um, no, it's it's too small, actually. I have a son and my parents and... Ah, I see. A second family car. I get that a lot. Your husband's too busy to ferry their kids to school. I don't have a husband. <laughs> What's your line of work? Does it matter? Oh, of course. Uh, just so I can know what car to recommend to you. For example, if you are a secretary, personal assistant, sales, or marketing... I'm self-employed, sort of. I see. Look, I just need to know if the car is reliable. How about this one? Mid-size, also safe and reliable. Besides, I'm sure you can count on your male friends for help if it ever breaks down. Does it come in any other colours? Of course, it comes in many colours. Lorraine, see to it that this nice lady here manages to find her dream car. The one she can only find her dreams. So, the commission's mine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much does this car cost? 250000 But we only have one left in blue. I'll take it. I guess you're more convincing than your colleague. I'll go get the paperwork done for a new car. Did I just buy a car? Yep, and quite a swanky one too, you know? Oh, why didn't you stop me? What? Did you see the look on that salesman's face? It was priceless. It's a pretty nice one though. Yeah, with a pretty nice price tag like that, you wouldn't have expected less, right? Okay, I need something sweet to take away the pain. What made you suddenly decide to get a car? Zhong Ming. He embarrassed me for being late to work in front of our client, who happened to be an ex-classmate of mine. That's a lot of money to spend, though, just to get back at him. Mm. Anyway, he's the reason why I texted. 
Tung Ming? No, Claude. Uh, that's my ex-classmate. He's a GEP tutor with a pretty good track record of getting kids into the program. What are his credentials? Well, he was a GPA and he got into Harvard for his undergrad. We all thought he was going to be some Jeff Bezos type of person, you know, change the world and all that. But he told me that he wanted to start with nurturing the future. A tutor from Harvard? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, that's very noble of him. I know. He's even developed an app to make GEP preparation resources available for those who can't afford formal classes. So, I persuaded him to meet our kids and let him trial them for his lessons. What do you say? Like, he's pretty picky with his students. <sighs> Expenses are pretty tight at the moment at home, so I'll pass. Sure. Do? Look, I know the guy. You have my guarantee this time. Well, lightning shouldn't strike at the same spot twice, right? Hey John, this is Suresh here. There's something wrong with my CPF contribution. Are you able to check with HR and get back to me? Hey, what's going on? Sorry, bro. Suresh, what does the boss mean when you say sorry? It means we need to update our resume, Jim. Next thing you know, he just packed up all his stuff and he was gone by the end of the day. Just like that. So what really happened? According to my sources, it was Miss Chiang who sent him packing. I wonder what Mr. Xavier did wrong. Wrong? Who knows why her graciousness does anything? She rarely consults even with us HODs. Although, of course, for a disciplined master, Mr. Xavier's methods were a little too old-fashioned for anyone's liking. Anyway, for whatever reason, Ms. Chiang has asked the HODs to keep a nose out for the next DM. You know, a teacher who's interested and has potential. Hey, thanks. I'll give you a miss. Have you recommended anyone? No, I'm still looking around. This is like a HOD role, but on an SEO pay scale, right? Not exactly, but it's definitely a step towards a new pay scale. It depends where you are now, GO2 or GO3. There is an additional allowance, and it probably won't hurt your year-end and performance bonuses either. I see. The new DM will have to earn the respect of the children because the most difficult kids will be sent to him or her. The DM will also need to really enjoy working closely with children. I love working closely with children, especially the challenging ones. Deal tough kids with tough love, you know? <laughs> I think Miss Chiang is looking at new ways of maintaining discipline, but it's settled then. I'll put your name in for consideration. Start thinking of your proposal. Royston, no? No, thanks. Cheer! Me, me, me! I'll be your business partner! Okay, why don't all of you get into your groups? For today's assignment, I want you all to discuss the arts. Wow. Luckily, I'm working with you. The arts? I don't know what's that. You better do your part of the work this time. I'm not going to do your work again. Specifically, how Singaporean artists' works have changed and evolved over the period of 1945 to the present day. Hey, hey, hey. We have artists in Singapore. Last updated, 
Um, don't you need me to fill up a form? The formatting of your resume is outdated to begin with. As an employer, I would see that as a sign-off and over-experienced employee. It's okay, I'll make the changes. I have my laptop with me. Don't bother. The job market is terrible these days for the more experienced crowd of employees. I know that. Your kind of profile overcrowds industry. But I guess there's no harm in trying, unless you consider disappointment as harm, of course. going to Rakit to ride the bumper cars. Huh? No la. Let's do show Winston. Ah, I don't want to go ah. We went already what yesterday. Uh... Hey, Bray. He's part of our gang now ah. So better watch it ah. Oh. Best friends now. Best friends now. Shut up. Ah. Very What are you looking at? Dad? How stupid can you get? How manipulative can you get? Don't talk to your mum like this. I asked her that to come back. And you appear. I knew she would manipulate you too. Winston, we're trying to make things work. We just want what's the best for you. She just wants what's best for her! I said I'll sign the instant transfer papers if our family go back together. And you just ask him to come back? Thinking that's enough? She didn't. Why are you speaking up for her? I know what she did. I saw how she chased you away. I've apologized to your father. I've said sorry. What more do you want? Do you think there's some kind of joke? You just don't get me, do you? You just don't understand what I want! Told you, this will not work. Just do what I tell you to. Get him into Ensign High. What's so good with Ensign High? Of course you wouldn't know. You wouldn't care even if your son is not meeting his potential in Hwase. He's old enough. Maybe you should tell him. You dare breathe a word of your dirty secret. You can forget about me ever signing the divorce paper. to get a car, you didn't have to rob a bank before you get to the showroom. Why would I have to? I didn't touch my bonuses from last year. And besides, this way, I'll never be late to another pitch. I guess... you always get what you want. The next person who spells with a Z where there should be an S will join my recess club. 
Is that understood? Miss Sim? Oh, hello, Principal Chang. I'll be introducing a new student today. Oh, of course. <laughs> Class, from today onwards, a new student will be joining you. Oh, I'm sure we'll make him feel most welcome here. Isn't that right, class? <laughs> His name is Elliot Yong. He's been transferred from another school. Perhaps, Miss Sim, you could arrange for some ice-breaking activities for the class later this week? Oh, we can do that right now, Principal Chiang. There is no need to wait. Perfect. <laughs> Elliot, would you like to take a seat over there? Thank you, Miss Sim. Not a problem, Principal Chan. Miss Sim, what type of games are we going to play? <laughs> okay. Crossword puzzles, of course. You can find them on page 46 of your workbooks. Open up, please. How do you expect us to feature these numbers in our prospectus? But the research shows... You've gotten so far ahead of yourself, you didn't realise something's burning. Are you saying my choices have been short-sighted? Look, aren't these revenue figures enough? Enough, yes. Consistent? Absolutely not. How can we have gaps like this where we have almost no revenue? You want to be reliable. Big numbers aren't going to help us with that. Min, this is Series B. We're looking at least 7 million in projected revenue. Companies that are trying to get listed, they reach way higher than that. So what do you suggest? I suggest you step up your search. Fine. Then I suggest that we do something about the fact that we are understaffed. I'm shouldering day-to-day -day running issues and sourcing for an M&A target. They're not wasting on a so, line... So? Go hire whoever you need. You are the CEO, you don't need my permission, so don't make an excuse out of it. Can we get back to this? Uh, uh, Miss Chang, uh, I can't even control my own class, you know. And now you want me to control the whole school? I said pitch. I didn't say I was going to appoint you yet. Discipline isn't just about keeping people in line. You have a keen eye for the children's interests. And you always try your best in nurturing them, to care for their peers and themselves. That is the true value of discipline. I, um, I don't know, but maybe... I want to see your proposal on how you instill values in our students. But I... Whether or not you get appointed is another matter. Hey, see. This is home. No wonder your grades like that. Eh, what's that supposed to mean? See, Dina, do you know what time is it? Bring them out. It's four, lor. You think I don't know how to tell the time, ah? I should be the one asking you the question. You never came to help out. Uh, your friend, ah? Yeah, he's the one, ah. Oh, you must be the one helping him out with his man, is it? Come and join us for dinner now. Uh, no, it's okay, Andy. I already got dinner at home. Never mind. I'm sure you can eat twice, right? Look at you, bone Sony. Has my son been eating up your food? Ma, stop it. We're supposed to be studying now. You, start work. Let your friend eat. Eh, so unfair. The next time you disappear like this, you got to pay for your own food at home. Come, come, come. Yeah. Eh, Ma! Why are we eating prison food? You know, 
I've been thinking maybe we should go vegetarian for a while. Egg's not vegetarian. Sushi? I was thinking maybe it's time for us to regain our spiritual relationship with the earth. What? You know, like, maybe we shouldn't use too much of artificial lighting or take that many showers. Dad, is everything okay? Yes. Yes, everything is fine. Hey, um, maybe I can help you with your homework tomorrow afternoon. But I have Tamil tuition at that time. I can help you with that too. Dad, you scored a U for Tamil. Eat. Morning, Royston. Is everything all right? No. It's not. Everything's not all right. I tell you this, okay, Cheryl. I never asked to be anyone's form teacher. You know? I just want to teach. Best class, worst class. I just love teaching. I, I, I see the eyes of these kids light up when they finally understand something. When they discover something new in the world. Royston, what are you rambling on about? This Miss Chang, she wants me to pitch for the discipline master position. Well, Principal Chang has great foresight. And she must have seen something in you. So it's your duty not to disappoint her. Royston, don't worry. Why not let's help each other out? Wow, this Zhou Jie Chen lady really likes painting herself, oh. Is she famous or something? In the Singaporean art scene, yes, she was. She was? You mean, she's dead, huh? Yes, for about 25 years now. I don't get why people like her work so much. I'm done explaining. Pack your bags. I'll let Georgia Chen teach you instead. But she's dead! Oi! This is Lotus in a Breeze. Miss Chen used impressionist techniques of manipulating colours to emphasise light. In Impression... Nollies? What's that? Impressionism. It's a movement, or a style of creating art. It originated in France and Miss Chen was very well-traveled. Hey, what flowers are these? The painting is called Lotus in a Breeze. Oh, Lotus! You used to make soup, Mama. Hey, Winston! I bet she doesn't sing as well as she paints. Whoa. Hey, Winston! This place damn cool. We must come back again. Shh, wait, wait. Hey, what's that? 
Winston, come over. Winston. Oh. Uh, uh, hi, Millie. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh. Oh, this is this is my friend from from school, Spencer. So, um, my school is holding the play next month and I'm acting in it. You want to come watch? Of course, we're going! Okay, you both can come. I'll message you more details. Same phone number. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Bye, I'll see you. Don't even like watching plays. Now I do. Even the toilets? With the grime? Yeah, just one month only. You know, these Charleston kids, uh, they're so privileged now. They've got the smarts, but not very much else. But how is this going to instill discipline? Discipline is just a word, okay, Cheryl? It's like value, empathy and morals. And these are exactly what we should be working on. Huh? These kids uh, need to learn uh, what washing the toilet and, and washing the dishes and the, sweeping the floor are like. I see. Yeah. And also, uh, I want to introduce the Valor Awards. What's that? Every month, uh, the students get to vote one well-behaved, kind and generous student from their own class, who will then move on to win the award of the month. And I think uh, prizes can include uh, book vouchers, uh, um, stationeries and, and food vouchers. That's a great idea. Yeah. Like a lot of work for me. Huh? For you. <laughs> I mean for you. It sounds like a lot of work for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's for the kids now. It's all worth it now. But what do you think? My pitch is in two days. Now. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What were you thinking? Going home with a mess like this hanging off your bike? But I know your obsession with saving money is pathological, but if you don't care about yourself, could you at least think about Sushila before you do something so... I did so think of her. And all the more, I had to do what I did. Well, it seems to me that her having no father is a much more permanent fate than you having no income. I've applied to 50 companies, heard nothing from 39, and failed seven interviews. All the companies that offer me a job propose half of the 6,000 that I was previously withdrawing. One day you would find me. What if I tried you out for a position at Quartz? Huh? You know, a job. I can't do that. It wouldn't work me. I said try out, not give you a confirmed position. We have an opening now for an applications engineer. I'll pay you $5,000 for your probation period of six months, and then maybe we could raise it to 5005 dollars if you're confirmed. That's really sweet of you, Ming. But how about you, Ming? What about him? You forget, I own a piece of the company too. Like, I've seen you work. And you helped me with that software problem I had. I don't see why you wouldn't be suitable.
Mm -hmm. I am so sorry. No, no, it's fine. Oh, that's a very elaborate proposal you have there, Cheryl. Oh, thank you. Miss Kwa nominated me. Um, actually, Principal Chang, I was wondering if you have a few minutes for me to talk to you about the DM position. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yes, of course. I'm happy you stepped up. There have been so few volunteers for this role. Well, it will just take a few minutes. I've got a really good idea. Okay, let's hear it. Because I believe that discipline is just a word. <laughs> Values, morals and empathy, these are what should truly matter to Charleston students. I mean, as leaders of tomorrow, I believe this is the best way to inculcate in them a sense of belonging and connection to their school and society. And introducing the Valor Awards will help the students? How? What if it becomes a popularity contest? Um, right. <laughs> well, I will oversee a team of teachers I will personally assemble. Mr. Quack, for instance, he's been kind enough to look at my ideas and give me some advice. So I took them into consideration and made some minor adjustments to my proposal before I presented them. Well done, Cho. But Winston wants you home! You know I can't do that. I already told you the other day. We well, say you should go to China so that you could give our kids the best. All three of our children are having important exams this year. I am barely able to cope with their work. And Winston? He's become so rude and refuses to go to a good school even with his results. So just come home already! Do you know how much more debt we'll be in if I came back? We have to sell this house. What are you saying? We'll be bankrupt. I told you before. Your children are worth more than your dad! Kyo, all I've ever wanted for our children is to make good for themselves. Is that so bad? But now, Winston, Winston, don't even want to talk to me anymore! Maybe we need to tell them. No! No, we can't let them know. It would affect their studies. I want them to focus on their important years. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we have less. If it means getting our own lives back. Jane. I thought I could handle all this by myself. I was wrong. I was stupid. I can't! Kyung, please, just come home. I can get a job. I can get two, I can get three. Just, just come home. Our family needs you. And so I think uh, that having these awards uh, will serve as positive reinforcements. Uh, that every kid will have the same potential to demonstrate kindness and conscientiousness. Royston, huh? did you consult anyone about your ideas before you pitched them to me? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, with Cheryl. <laughs> She's been a great help with, with my ideas. Uh, and I'm happy both of you work so well together. 
Huh. But next time, I would prefer if you pitched your own ideas, no matter how little you want this job. Huh? I know you didn't want the role of DM, but you could have told me instead of borrowing someone else's idea. <laughs> but like I was telling you, Miss Chang, Cheryl Lau, she would make a much better DM than I would. Don't you want to have someone who is actually enthusiastic about the job? Ma. Why didn't you tell us we have money problems? How did you... Did your father tell you? I understand. I don't want you to go to work. I've thought about to go back to China. I need you to say these lines. What? You have been pretending to be their father for years. Why is this so difficult now? Stick to the story. Your business is failing, that's why you're coming home less. To save your business. I can't believe they can think of this. I don't care what you believe. Do this. Make me instant go to Anson High. Okay, tell me, what do you want out of the GEP course? I want to have interesting and fun lessons. I want to do more fun stuff like experiments and outings. I want to have teachers who let me talk and walk around in class. Fair enough. I want to meet people of high intellect. I want to be the future leader of Singapore. I want to be pushed to achieve even more. You both realise that what you want assumes you'll be able to keep up with the programme? I know I can. I'm sure I'm good enough to get in. Okay. I think I've heard enough. Why don't you two go play while I speak to your moms? Ladies, the real challenge is not getting into the programme, but preserving your child's sanity and yours whilst you're in it. I teach three times a week, two hours a time. I don't work weekends and I don't work Mondays. I can start any time, but I only have room for one more and you have to fit my schedule. Oh, but don't we get a trial lesson or something? The way that I teach, you won't see results till after a month or two. I'm not sharing knowledge. I'm changing mindsets. Well, maybe you could take both Kai and Nabila for one of those days? In the Kai's gonna get into the program, with or without my help. <laughs> what? Oh, I, I don't mean to say that Nabila isn't smart, but she needs a little bit of help to think outside the box. You know, I decoded everything from the way that they speak, think, and feel. That's how you ensure you're always one step ahead in the teaching process. Hey, you! Why did you pitch my ideas? Oh, those ideas? I thought we were working on them together. Uh, yes, but... Bryston, you didn't even want this job, right? Why are you so upset over this? 
Yeah, 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 but that's not the point. The thing is that you went ahead and presented it and made me look like I stole your ideas. Stole it from me? But it was our idea. I helped you with it. I was the one who inspired you, gave you confidence. I was your muse. And I made sure it got through to Principal Chang, didn't I? Maybe this is for the best. We both know you can't handle it. See you back at the staff room. Good morning, Suresh. Hey, hi, Mingyi. Come, I'll show you to your seat. Okay. Wow, you really have a very nice office. Thanks. So, I need these done by 5pm today. I've made up a to-do list for you to refer to. If you have any questions, you can just ask me. And this is your access card. You need it with you at all times. Min, these numbers, they're still not... Thinking of making some changes to no, leave them. Why would you change something that got you the job? You'll do them as you pitch them. Anyway, I've got contacts we can speak with for the housekeeping project. I'll send them to you via email. In the meantime, please arrange for your team to be assembled, and then we can start discussing the value awards. Anything else? Yes. I've spoken to Mr. Quack this morning and he seemed really excited about being involved with my plans. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Principal Chiam. Che. He signed it. You did well. I can't believe you. Your son is right. You are cold and manipulative. Do you know why I left you? Don't you dare blame me for your mistakes. Keep the money coming in, and I'll give you what you want. See, he's pregnant again. I can't. Business is not growing. When I Close my eyes shut I see you smiling at me And in that moment I'm so strong The things that I could do When I'm with Stop. you Please don't go, please! I'll give you anything. The divorce paper, anything you want. Just be there for Winston. You know how important it is to him? I have to go. I'm begging you. Please. I'm really sorry for everything. Get out of our lives. 